How to round to the nearest whole number. The thing we need to think of when we are rounding to whole numbers is which whole number is our number closest to. So for example, if we've got the number 2.7, if we look at this on a number line, 2.7 would be here, just after the 2.5. So it's between 2 and 3, but it's obviously closer to 3. So if we're rounding to the nearest whole number, we round to 3. So remembering our guidance, but looking at the number 1.4 this time, we'll put it on our number line. It'll be there, just below 1.5. So it's between 1 and 2, but it's closer to 1, so 1.4 to the nearest whole number is 1. Let's try it again, but this time with 1.5. So if we put this on our number line, there's 1.5. Now that's halfway between 1 and 2, but our convention is that if it's 0.5 we round up, so 1.5 to the nearest whole number is 2. Let's look at a slightly trickier example. Here's 134.67. We want to round that to the nearest whole number. So here's a number line. 134.67, well that's bigger than 134.5. It's going to be roughly there. So we can see that the whole number that it is closest to is 135. So that's what we round it to. Pause the video, have a go at these practice questions, using the number line if that helps. The answers will appear shortly. We're now going to try and do some rounding but without the number line. So we want to round 24.78 to the nearest whole number. What we're going to do is we're going to look at, there's our units, and here's our tenths. Now we can see from when we've rounded on the number line that if the tenths digit is 5 or bigger, we round the units up. So this is closer to 25 than it is to 24. So to the nearest whole number we get 25. We've now got one of a longer decimal now, so 143.4127. Again, we just need to consider the units, there's a 3, and the tenths, which is a 4. So this time the tenths digit is smaller than 5, so we round down, so our units are going to stay the same, 143. Now let's try rounding this one, 197.5997. So our unit is 7, the tenths is 5, now as we said before, if the tenths was equal to 5, we round up, so that 7 increases, we get 198. So remember, we're going to compare the tenths to 5, if it's 5 or bigger, such as in this number, we round up, so 342.8 would round to 343. If the tenths is lower than 5, we round down. Here's some more practice questions to have a go at. Pause the video, have a go, the answers will appear shortly. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.